I'ma tell you why you can't Said you got a long way to go Say you wanna love me You wanna touch me Don't trust cause you got a long way to go Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Mike, and I'm just gonna make a video on how to make this wallpaper, as you can see right there. It's a picture of Baby Bowser, and I know I've been, I haven't been really making too many wallpapers and posting them up on the website, so I figured I'd show you guys uh, a quick video of me making one. So, I'm gonna head into Photoshop, and as you can see, I already have the file already open. But I'm going to show you how I did it from scratch. So I'm just going to close that out. Now this is one of the images you're going to want to use. So full size right there. So that's the image and that's how it looks. So I basically took this image and colorized it here in saturation. And then blended it with a gradient and got a cool effect. So I'm going to not just um, minimize it but just um, put it to the side for a minute. I'm gonna open up my wallpaper dimensions, which is 1440 by 900. Alright, so as you guys know, one of my favorite gradients. So I'm just gonna start off, hold shift, bring it down, like that. Alright, so next, what I'm gonna do is grab my baby Bowser picture, just drag him in there, close that out. Uh, I'll put no, I'm if I cancel. Let's minimize them for right now. And then what I'm gonna do is take my wallpaper that I have and just drag it in there too. So once I got all the files that I need, I'm just gonna position it the way I want it to. Then I'm gonna go edit, transform, then go to flip horizontal so it could be on the other side, position it, and then what I'm gonna do is hit F7 to make sure your layers panel is out and I'm just going to drop the opacity so I can see where exactly it stands just like that alright put it back up alright so this how it's going to look something like that I'm just going to move them up just a little bit and then what I'm going to do is just bring them down to the new layer icon to make a copy of them or you could just press Control J and then what I'm going to do is go back to edit, transform, flip, vertical. Basically it's upside down. So click on them once, like on the image, click on the image. And then hold shift and then bring it down. Just like that. So bring it down to where it kind of matches um, the headband or something. You may be doing another image, but just make sure it matches up so you could do a cool reflection. So bring in the layers tab, bring that flipped vertical layer, the flipped layer of Bowser at the, the bottom of Baby Bowser, like that. So if you can't see, that's what it looks like, like that. Let's see if I can get the size up for you guys. Um, um, I don't know, anyway, yeah. So that's what I did, and then what I did was drop the opacity to about, uh, oops, excuse me, drop the opacity to about 50, 50 looks good, and then I select the, uh, the wallpaper in the back of them, the abstract layer, and what I did was select the, the, what is this called? I'm sorry, I keep stuttering, it's horrible. Um, anyway, select your saturation from image. Then, I'm going to put the saturation up about 60 and then move the color over. Oops, sorry. One thing I meant to mention is make sure the background layer is invisible. And you can do that to everything else. That way, I mean, you could just control click on it and do it that way and then go to hue and saturation but instead of doing all that you could just I don't know um it's kinda weird it worked before I'm sorry it's always something right before the video or if during the video if something doesn't work I don't know just colorize it and then pump up the the saturation to about 60 
maybe. I'm gonna put the hue at around somewhere between, I'll say 190, so, uh, maybe 120. 120 is good. Just like that. That's okay. Now, that's not the way I did it. it was a little, all I did was select hue and saturation, but I don't know, whatever. So what I'm gonna do is take that background layer and make a copy of that. And it has the gradient effect added to it, but yes, yeah, whatever. So what I did is put it on top and then select both of those two layers. And then what I did was merge them. Oops, no I didn't. Select the background layer and just put it to overlay. And then merge them. Just like that. And then bring out baby Bowser and that. And uh select my text tool. I'm gonna type in Bowser. Now the font's pretty big, so I'm just gonna drop it just a little bit. About 62 or 60. Then give it a quick layer style for this tutorial. So I'll just put it the one I had before, like that. Looks pretty cool. And then I'll select my text tool again. Type in, drop the font size for a little bit, to about nine. And um, basically select the shape. So hold shift, to make it come down pretty nicely, just like that. And uh, that's how you make a cool wall wallpaper. Um, to save it, you're gonna want to just go to File, Save As. You can save it as a P uh, PSD, so you can always edit it. And you can save it as a PNG when you just want to post it up on your desktop or something like that. So I like to say thanks you thanks for watching, you guys. For this is how to make a cool wallpaper or making a wallpaper in Photoshop. Uh, expect more of these videos. I'll just randomly do a video on making a wallpaper similar to this one. And it's going to be cool. I'm just going to find a cool wallpaper, a cool PNG image, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that in another video too. So thanks for watching, you guys, and check out my other videos. Please subscribe, rate, and comment if you haven't. So, catch you guys later. So long.